Hi, welcome to another session of transient analysis. In today's class, that is in class 5, again we are going to see a basic examples, especially the problems involved with the initial conditions of RLC circuit connected in series and in parallel. Series in the parallel sense, you can see the switch in this particular condition is connected to supply, whereas the passive elements, that is 3 ohms, 12 ohms and 2 henrys, the switching positions will be acting between these passive elements. If the inductor is given, how the circuit is going to get behaved and if the capacitance is present, how the circuit will behave. So that is what we are going to see as basics with these two examples. In the later classes, we are going to see some more numericals based upon the zigzag arrangement of series and parallel circuits and then in the future classes we are going to deal with the transient response pertaining to differential equation approach as well as Laplace transform approach and we will try to understand how the transient behavior of the circuit will be behaving based upon the supply as well as the switching positions. So we are going to treat this as class 5 and we'll sort out the problem with figure 1 where you can see 24 volts is supplying 12 ohms in series with 2 henrys and you can see this switching arrangement is going to shift its position from A to B and how the inductor is going to show its impact over 3 ohms and finally how the current value the change in current value as well as the acceleration current value will be obtained at t is equal to 0 plus condition that is at switching conditions. So you can see in this problem 1 we have the switch which is going to get moved from position A to position B at t equal to 0. It is also given that the steady conditions have reached before switching means what? The switch was at position A and the steady state conditions have reached and then the switch is moved from A to B and when the switch is moved from A to B after reaching to B what will be the initial conditions and what will be the final conditions of the current behavior that is what we need to understand with this example. So as from the given data when the switching position was at A, the steady conditions have reached and inductor under steady state conditions, it behaves as short circuit. Means what? When the inductor is placed to position A and 24 volts was supplying the power, the inductor has completely reached to its steady state position and under steady state position, it behaves as short circuit. So how does the circuit look like before switching? So this is how the switching was before, before t equal to 0. So it will be treated as t equal to 0 minus. So switch was at position A. The circuit is getting supplied from 24 volts. So 12 ohms and inductor to Henry were connected and inductor under steady state behaved as short. So exactly this circuit is nothing but this circuit and figure 1 is changed to figure 1a where we need to find out the value of the current that is I of 0 minus when the steady states have reached under position A. So this is a closed circuit. So you have 24 volts, you have 12 ohms. So the current will be 24 by 12 which is nothing but 2 amperes. So this is the initial data what we have obtained and we are treating this particular value as equation 1. I hope you understood this simple approach. Now, after switching that is immediately at t equal to 0 plus, we have to concentrate on the behavior of the inductor. What is the main condition of the inductor? That the current through the inductor cannot change instantaneously means what the current value will be remaining as it is that is 2 amperes. So when the switching position is changed from A to B that is at 
I of 0 plus. This 24 volts is disconnected and 12 and 3 are in series and this is how the circuit looks aligned. So this is the current which is present in the circuit. So I of 0 plus will be 2 amperes thus satisfying the main property of the inductor that the current through inductor cannot change instantaneously immediately when the switching position is changed from A to B. But what exactly we require? We require the differentiation and the double differentiation of the current. So for that, this figure 1 will be changed to figure 1C, where you can see you have 3 ohms, 12 ohms and you actually the inductor is present and what is the current present in the inductor that is 2 amperes. So this is how the circuit changes for T greater than 0 conditions. So this is a very important property of the inductor and this is how the circuit will be behaved. So what we need to keep in our mind that in 2 Henry the current will be traveling is 2 amperes. Now we will apply KVN to this closed circuit. So we have 3i plus 12i plus 2 di by dt equal to 0. Now what is this? This is the voltage drop in the passive elements. So voltage across inductor is given by L di by dt. So L is reduced by 2 di by dt. And 3 and 12 will be obtaining as 15i plus 2 di by dt equal to 0. So hence 2 di by dt is equal to minus 15i. This will treat as equation 4. A very important approach. Please concentrate. Now 2 di by dt is equal to minus 15i. So naturally di by dt is equal to minus 7.5i. So this we are treating as equation 5. Now what we require to know? We require to know what is di by dt at 0 plus condition. So at 0 plus condition, di by dt at 0 plus will be equal to minus 7.5 times i of 0 plus. And what is i of 0 plus? It is nothing but 2 amperes, just we have derived from previous equation. So this will be giving you the value as minus 15 ampere per second. So this is the value of di by dt at 0 plus. So the next value what we have obtained that is nothing but di by dt at 0 plus. So let us read this equation as 6 and from equation 5 we can obtain d square i by dt square. So d square i by dt square is equal to minus 7.5 di by dt. So differentiation of this particular equation will be obtained in this fashion. At t equal to 0 plus it becomes d square i of 0 plus by dt square is equal to minus 7.5 di by dt of i of 0 plus. So we know that from equation 6 its value is minus 15 amperes is the value of di by dt at 0 plus. So just substituting the value minus 7.5 times minus 15 it should be giving the value as 112.5 amperes per second square. So this is how the behavior of the inductor in switching conditions from one circuit to another circuit is understood and this is how the acceleration of the current as well as the velocity of the current can be determined from the switching action. Let us focus on second problem. Now inductor is replaced by a capacitor whose value is 0.25 farads and the resistors are changed from 5 and 15 and you have input voltage source as 50 volts. Now what we need to require? We need to require the current conditions, the differentiation of current conditions and double time differentiation of current conditions at 0 plus. So the previous circuit and this circuit, the parameter of passive elements as well as the source are changed. We need to understand the behavior of the capacitor. That is our main intention. So when the switching was at A, that is the steady state conditions is reached, naturally the capacitor behaves as open circuit. Why? Because at steady state conditions, the capacitor will receive the complete voltage what it is being supplied from the main. 
because it's an open circuit and at t equal to 0 minus this is how the circuit will look like why open circuit because the capacitor at steady state position behaves as open circuit when this becomes open circuit though the 15 ohms is present it becomes dummy and whatever the voltage measurement you are going to place across these two parameters that will be the voltage across this particular branch which is nothing but 50 volts so the current is zero because it's open circuit and the voltage will be v of zero minus is equal to 50 volts so this is how the capacitor is different from inductor and the voltage in the capacitor is obtained to be 50 volts this we need to keep our mind and we are treating this equation as one now after switching that is at t equal to 0 plus we are going to apply kvl to the figure 2 you can see the switching position is changed from a to b and this is how the circuit will look like and i of 0 plus will be nothing but it will be equal to 50 which is the value of the voltage across the capacitor and we are going to apply the kvl and we are going to obtain the value of current i of 0 plus is equal to minus 50 by 20 how you got minus 50 by 20 because you have i i of 0 plus plus 15 i of 0 plus plus 50 equal to 0 with this you can get the value of i of 0 plus mind you this is a capacitor not inductor and that is why though the value of initial current before switching it was zero after switching the current conditions have changed it's a capacitor that's why the current has changed but not the voltage voltage it will be zero only because the voltage through capacitor cannot change instantaneously so what happens to the voltage that voltage is through the capacitor that's why you can see 50 volts is kept in series with 0 0.25 fans now for t greater than 0 we have to estimate the conditions for differentiation of current as well as double differentiation of current so we are going to apply kvn and we are going to get 5i plus 59 plus 50 on the path i am getting 50 volts as it is plus 1 by c integral i dt is equal to 0 so 1 by c is nothing but 0 0.25 integral i dt equal to 0 so this we are treating as equation 3 and just differentiate because we need to get the value of di by dt so i am going to get 5 plus 15 20 di by dt differentiation of constant is 0 plus you have 1 by 0.25 and in differentiation of integration goes off and becomes as i which is equal to 0 with this at t equal to 0 plus i am going to get the value of di by dt at 0 plus which is equal to minus i of 0 plus by 0 0.25 times 20 this 20 goes to the denominator and we know that from equation 2 the value of i of 0 plus is equal to minus 2.5 amperes per second it should be amperes not amperes per second so here we are going to get minus 2.5 by 0 0.25 times 20 which is nothing but 0 0.5 amperes per second it's a small mistake here please ignore this you have i of 0 plus is equal to minus 2.5 amperes not amperes per second is it this uh, pay attention on this direction it should be minus 2.5 amperes and after the switching action we get the value of di by dt at 0 plus is equal to 0 0.5 amperes per second so this is a value of the change value of current at 0 plus let me treat this equation as fine. Now, I of t, we need to find out. Before finding out I of t at 0 plus conditions, that is, differentiation of the current, we need to differentiate the original equation. The original equation is 20 di by dt, so it becomes d square i by dt square. Already the constant value is 0 plus 0 0.25, you have i that becomes di by dt and at t equal to 0 plus this becomes minus 1 by 0 0.25 times 20 di by dt of 0 plus those values are nothing but 0 0.5 
and thus the value becomes minus 0 0.1 ampere per second square and this we have derived from equation 5. So this is how we treat the problems with inductors and capacitors. Just in this circuit, replace resistor with inductor, resistor with capacitor and try to obtain the transient analysis for initial conditions of RLC circuit under series and parallel arrangement. So we will see some more numericals in our class 6. So I hope you like my video. Please share among your friends, subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon for future notifications. Thank you.